uh, well, I never had uh, the job in Japan, so this is the first uh, the experience, you know, the step into the design department. So, uh, well, everything is so uh, new to me. Well, first of all, I never been outside of Japan. First time I came to Germany and step into this, uh, the yeah, relatively new building, two years old. When I think when I came to here, so new building and so everything is so fresh and people are very kind and it's, it's just, well, it was just exciting. Yeah. Well, since I was a small kid, I was making drawing on small papers and corner of the school textbook and so those things are as usual. So then the yeah I want to be a car designer probably about 10, 15 years old. I didn't know how to how to be a car designer. So I didn't know any schools, anything those uh, the uh, method system to be a car designer. So I I had a really hard time to get all the information, not like today. Today, you can just click the, inf the internet and you can get full of inf information. But that time, in J Japan is very remote, isolated uh, from uh, you know, Western European country or state. So I got uh, all kinds of information, even small uh, magazine, cut, you know, cut, cut from magazines and all those things. So it was really... Uh, a uh, hard time, but it was very interesting. So I uh, started thinking uh, to be uh, outside in Japan, either in the States, is the best design uh, process they have, and the facilities and qualities and everything. And the other one was uh, Turin, Italy. It's also, they made a nice design, Ferraris, Maseratis. Pininfarina, Bertone. So. so I think two place was a design mecca that time in the world. So I would like to walk either one. It's in the Turin or States. Yeah. I had a lots of sketch sketch pad, so I sent it to a sketch pad and then the sketch made a big package, sent it to the GM design. And very, they are very kind. They gave me uh, the job. Uh, after probably ten days or so, I sent the stuff, and I got the mail, and said, it's, "You can come over. We, we work together." So it was very, it was very exciting, impressive. Yeah. So then, meantime, the Opel uh, sent me uh, the invitation or offer the job. They come over to Opel because we have the same system like a GM design, which is, I think they opened the designs, their building in 1964. So that was a 66, so two years after. So they sent me a bunch of uh, nice big pictures and so that was the atmosphere is just like a GM design. So I changed my mind, okay, let's go to Germany. I think I was two, age 22, so quite um, flexible and suits to any environment, probably that time. So yeah, it's uh, everything new. I never been outside of Japan. So was uh, the totally new. Uh, everything uh, the, it's new and exciting. Yeah, I remember a lot, it's, but it's, uh, it's a very exciting time. Yeah. I think this place was an American company and the design director was uh, Claire McKeegan. He, he's American. And uh, I think that's that's why many Americans already there are here, and then the some other nationalities, yeah, it's Lebanese and yeah, French and all those different kinds of nationalities. So it's an atmosphere, it's international, cosmopolitan. Uh, that make makes me also much easier. Probably. If I I couldn't even speak any English that time, uh, pigeon English. But still, it's Americans and some are Germans and French and so, so lots of different nationalities uh, made me a very uh, open feeling in this building. Yeah. First uh, generation Corsa, we worked a quite long time. Erhard Schnell, he worked a lot. Or Hans Zehr, he worked also a lot. Uh, was uh, the Eska? Eska? 
some project it's called need uh, the below the cadet we need a smaller car as an entry model I also gave a little bit um, some influence to the Adam one of the police uh, motor show I went there and I, I met uh, the Mark Adams and he he told me Adam we got some inspiration, good inspiration from uh, the junior, and I was very proud because it's, uh, I don't know how many years ago we did this one, you know, it's a flex this, uh, the idea, concept, flexibilities and those things. So I was very, very happy to hear that, yeah. But anyhow, that time we would like to have a car for, uh, for women, one thing. The other thing is that the car should be uh, not uh, the purchase because of the low budget. People uh, buy because a car is nice and I need a small car and uh, classless. So those things are the basic uh, idea behind. So it's not, uh, I don't have uh, enough money or I have to buy a small car. It's not the right way. I would like to drive this car because its car is nice, performance is nice. It's own to, uh, no, proud to own. So that's uh, the, this car. This is uh, one of the, my first job, uh, 1983, uh, year after the first generation Corsa came out. And so we would like to make a big step to uh, uh, the new uh, generation, also new design, uh, form language. And so we made a car outside, it looks like a, a motorcycle fairing, very soft, uh, aerodynamic shape. Then inside, as you see, it's a very uh, functional, it's an, a very mechanical uh, interior. So it's a big contrast in exterior and interior. So this car, uh, Junior, we uh, had a concept, it's a flexibility, and versatility. This was on the basic concept. So when you buy a car, you can have only this speedometer. This is a basic. But if you have more pocket money, you can uh, allow to buy more. You can add left counters or some other gauges, even stereo. I think we had one even uh, the shaver is somewhere in the box. So you can add and add, so you can have a fully loaded. So this is a almost fully loaded condition here, you can see. This is uh, the, uh, actually it's very proud and one of the best job I've done in Opel.